does your microphone sound like this? Alright, today I'm gonna uh, welcome you to my Minecraft Let's Play. I'm happy to have you. Thanks for joining in today. Jesus fuck <coughs> Christ. Well, first of all, that's a bitrate issue. But I can still teach you how to make your dumpy microphone sound a lot better. I'm gonna have you start by following the link in the description and you are gonna go and download Voice Meter Banana. STOP RIGHT THERE! Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to startle you, but this is really, really important. Before you go messing around with Voice Meter Banana, you need to realize that you're going to be routing all your hardware through software. And if you go messing with this before you set everything correctly, you could mute all your audio. And if you do that before this video is over, you're not going to know how to turn it back on unless you go Google and stuff. And, you know, who knows if you know how to do that. You know, I may be selling you short, but just watch this part and then go ahead and attempt it, alright? So you got your software right here. You want to go to your sound settings. These are the sound settings for your system. Your new output device will be voice meter input and your new input device will be voice meter output. Once you got these set, you can come over here and then set A1, your new hardware output, to whatever your original speakers were. So I have mine as the Ship Modi Digital Audio Converter. I like to use WDM because that's the most universal, but for some people that might not work so well, you can choose MME if that doesn't work so well. But I just use WDM. There's my digital audio converter right there. And then all the way over here, hardware input is going to be your microphone. Same thing, I got WDM and I have a Samsung G-Track Pro. So now that you got these all set, you, you're ready to start truly finagling. Okie dokie, if you've changed things and you can hear stuff, you're off to a great start. You want to hear stuff. If you don't hear stuff, that means you messed up. So next step, we're going to come over here to hardware input and hit A1. A1 is your slot that is currently set for your hardware output. Uh, it's software now, but it's going to play your microphone through your headphones and you don't want that to happen. Next, come over to Voice Meter VAO and hit the B1 button because we're going to be playing our voice through our headset with the system settings to kind of emulate what other people are hearing, but B1 messes everything up and it's going to blow your eardrums out if you have that on. So, come over to Input, Device Properties, Additional Device Properties, and you're going to get Voice Meter Output Properties. Go ahead and hit Listen and listen to this device and then hit Apply. All right, now that you can hear yourself, you can, you know, start customizing your settings to make your microphone sound the best to you. That's why you have yourself listening to the device, so you can hear all the nasty stuff you want to get rid of. You're going to start with IntelliPan. This is my favorite little filter to get my voice sounding a little bit better right off the bat. I like to set it right here in the low end. It kind of brings out the lower part of my voice, and I think it sounds a lot better. Uh, after that, you're going to want to turn up your gain as high as you can. It helps you pick out all the really nasty sounds. We're going to get rid of that. You're going to go over here into the EQ right here on B1 and left click it to turn it on. It's going to turn blue. You can see that and then right click it. This is going to be your new best friend. This is how you get rid of all that nasty hiss, all that low brrr. This is how you fix your microphone. All right, here's a little crash course on the equalizer. If you mess up anything, you can just set this whole bar back to flat by clicking the flat button up here. Don't touch A, B up here. I, I honestly don't know what it does. Channels, you're just going to have this set to all because one is left and two is right for me for some reason. But for a good example of something you don't want, we're going to raise this high end. You hear that? That sounds terrible. If you mess up anything also and want to just reset an individual value, you can just double click something and it'll set it back to its original thing. That hissing sound was caused by an exceptionally high pickup on the high end of the Hertz spectrum. So to negate something like that, all you would have to do is come over here to this high end and drop it down a little bit. You can move where these bars are set, where these little uh, points are at, and you can change how the rate of that curve is. So it's like you're going to have to do a lot of finagling if your mic is uh, pretty, pretty dumpster garbage like. 
vice versa if you have like a low fan or a low ambient room sound that's too prevalent you're going to come over to the low end of the spectrum over here and you can lower it down like that uh, you know, only I, I only like to change it down by a couple of decibels because when you change your gain all the way back down to something normal, it's like it should affect everything else. You're gonna end up spending a good 5, 10, or 20 minutes with this equalizer. Honestly, the more time you spend with it, the better your microphone's gonna sound. And every microphone and every voice is going to need different values set for this, so I can't tell you exactly what values to set. However, the precedent that I set for you, if you have high-end sounds that are bothering you, just set it lower on the high-end, and low-end sounds that are bothering you, set it lower on the low-end, Take that advice to heart and you should be able to do anything you want with this uh, I'm gonna set mine back to normal because I have a nice expensive microphone. It doesn't really need much of an equalizer I'm gonna come back over here and set my gain value back to something normal Something like you know five so it's a little boosted, but at the same time It's uh, not too crazy loud after that go ahead come over here and hit listen to this device uh, Turn that bad boy off hit apply and you're done with that and you're honestly done with this menu too. Then you gotta do just a couple more things to make sure you save your settings here, because if you don't save your settings here, you're gonna have to redo everything every time you restart your computer. So go over to menu, go ahead and hit run on Windows startup, make sure that's checked so you don't have to run voice meter every time you restart your computer. Go ahead, save your settings, save them to whatever you want. I, for instance, have this set as this is pretty good for streaming, ta-da. I have a couple others and then after that load settings on startup so once you got this checked this checked and you got your little thing going on you're not gonna have to finagle with this anymore everything's going to be perfect for you every single time you start your computer uh, I forgot to mention it because uh, honestly I just thought about it but a1 is actually your headset it's going to be your hardware output so you can put an equalizer on that too you know, you wanna you wanna do a different equalizer from what you got your uh, microphone on. That's fine. You wanna simulate you got some Raycons on. Well, you can go ahead and scoop those mids, baby. I tend to like some bassier stuff, and honestly, it's like depending on what headset you got, you can also make your headset sound almost however you want. Though same deal. It's like the more you work with it, the better it's gonna sound. And at the start, it's a little intimidating, but. Just keep working with it, working with it, working with it until you get something that sounds perfect to you. Really, that's all I have to say today, and uh, I hope you pick something up from it. And I just got a little outro here, so thanks for watching the tutorial section. Here's the outro. I really hope this helped you. I know voice meter really came in clutch for me when I had a $20 Funsawa microphone from China. And even now I've upgraded to a $200 microphone, I use voice meter every single day still. I tried to make this short, simple, and sweet, and I hope you got a lot from it. Thanks for watching. Congratulations.